maybe be here. So attack triangles, right? Um, imagine when he goes to hit me, there's kind of like a triangle, and I'm trying to connect the dots in the triangle and hit the hand, right? So if he goes to swing at me, I'm connecting the triangle. And you look, it's kind of like a triangle, and then when you're just trying to connect in that triangle to that hand, you'll start finding when you go hunting to defang the snake, it becomes a little easier when you're looking at that triangle. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, one setup I like to do is have my stick high so that when they swing, they go swing, go swing, that you're just dropping. Gravity is, is a speed multiplier, it's a force multiplier, right? So gravity helps me go quicker. And if I'm high, I can get that a lot quicker, but you see I'm closing one of the you know, angles, if we had a triangle, I'm close from my tip to the hand, I'm closing one side of the triangle. Sometimes I might go low, and same thing, I'm going to close that point on the triangle. Now you guys remember, watch the shoulder to the elbow because it moves the least. If you're watching the hand, sometimes the hand is moving and you can't follow the hand as much, but if you're watching the elbow, you know at the end of that you know, forearm is the weapon. And the thing that doesn't move is this, right? And you watch the shoulders and the hips and the elbow and you're able to connect, right? So if I'm watching his shoulder and he goes to move, I know what what's happening here and here. You watch the thing that moves the least so you can predict where the thing that moves the fastest goes, right? So I'm gonna watch his shoulders, his hips, and then I see that motion, bam. I don't, you know, weapon fixation. You know, it's like the birds watching the shiny thing. I'm not staring at the shiny thing because sometimes weapon fixation is going to get you messed up. I'm going for the weapon here. I'm not looking in that hand. He has a knife and, and out comes his knife, right? I need to be in a position where I'm not fixated on the one weapon, the shiny object, but I can see all of his tools and what he's going to do. Yeah. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. Um, so attack, we did attack by drawing. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You said to try to attack the... Yeah, closing the, the angles of the yeah, pyramid. I just don't get that. So when he goes to hit, right, we, we end up having kind of like that the pyramid kind of thing here. Well, imagine, depending on the swing, I'm just trying to close a point on the pyramid. I'm just oh, trying to... Oh, I see. And, and the okay. point I'm hitting on the angle of pyramid, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch the hand, wherever the hand is. And whether I'm coming high or low to high, I'm still trying to hit the angles of the pyramid. Gotcha. And it's kind of like I'm hitting angles one and two, but as it's coming in, I'm just trying to close the points on the, on the pyramid. I get it. So, you, you know, uh, and, and here's the thing. You know where his elbow is, you know what the extension of his hand is, so his hand's coming out. See, the thing is, if I'm trying to chase the hand, it's a little less, like, you know, predictable. Gotcha. But when I know that when he swings, I'm connecting the points in that pyramid, um, I'm, I'm going to meet where it comes. Whereas if I'm just randomly just trying to hit the hand, uh, there's a, it's a lot more unpredictable and, and you have a lot less success rate, right? So um, focus on things that are gonna give you more ability to hit accurately and on time versus just whacking randomly, right? Make sense? Yeah. Um, yep. So, and then progressive indirect attack. That's the next one. Like, uh, I think you might have mentioned it because we did attack by drawing, but prog progressive indirect. What work didn't work? Difficulty level? And that's um, faking. High, low, inside, outside. Oh yeah, the one you did when you when you first showed us, where you have a nickel step out the mm -hmm. line. Yeah. Uh, that one was really. Effective. Oh, uh, you, you're talking about attack by drawing? Put the hand out, not the nickel. Well, I thought right, I did this. Kind of. Into that? Yeah. Yeah, that's attack by drawing. You go there. Oh, but I, I did it the opposite way, where I have an eco and then step out. Oh, like that? Yeah. I mean, that, yeah. That, I mean, that's a. Uh, so I, I thought that that was a. That's that's kind of attack by combination. If you're okay, doing that. Okay. Uh, because uh, every time I fake, I feel uh, like he went for the. Oh, so it was a fake. Okay. So yeah. So, yeah, so when I fake with the abanico, he'd go for that, mm -hmm. or at least block there. Mm -hmm. So I knew his hand was gonna move that way. So I. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, progressive indirect attack for you. Or successful. 